Why do you have to take our new neighbor's cookie bars? Oh, look, I made a terrible first impression. So I thought I'd make them some of my home-baked goodness. <laughs> but you didn't bake any goodness. You just warmed up the goodness I bought at the store. Well, yeah, I don't bake. Catch up. You know, not all neighbors have to be friends. Why don't you just let it go? Mike, they live 15 feet from us. If we have a fire, I want to be sure that they like us enough to call 911. Ah, that's the real reason. You can't stand it when somebody doesn't like you. Well, maybe. Well, maybe Bob and Lee just like to keep to themselves. That's fine. And once they like me, they can keep to themselves all they damn well please. Hi. I wanted to bring you a welcome to the neighborhood present. You should try one while they're still warm from the oven. That was really nice. Thank you. Or are there nuts in them? Nuts? No. Gee, let me think. No nuts. Are you sure? Because I'm highly allergic. Half a pecan could kill me. I'm not seeing any nuts. Okay. You made them, so did you or did you not put nuts in them? Okay, here's the thing. I'm a really crappy baker. To give you something that I made myself would be like an insult, so... So, 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 so you bought them? And, and then you heated them up in an attempt to make your gesture seem more thoughtful than in fact it was. Hey, I would have made them myself if I knew how. Honestly, I'm a good neighbor. <laughs> well, neighbor, why don't you take your store-bought, warmed-up, possibly poisonous cookie bars and give them to someone more likely to survive your generosity? Do you like wine? No, no, so please don't bring me a bottle from your vineyard. 